This is Dr. Donald Leung, Editor-in-Chief of the JCI. Joining me today are Dr. Chesme and Mbesho Atkis from the Swiss Institute of Allergy and Asthma Research in Davos, Switzerland. I'm delighted to have the opportunity to discuss with them their article in the March 2014 issue of JACI entitled Mechanisms of Allergen-Specific Immunotherapy. This is an important area of research in allergy because we've used allergy immunotherapy for over 100 years and we're only beginning now to understand why uh, this works so effectively in allergic patients. Chesme, what are the general mechanisms of immune tolerance to allergens? Thank you very much, Donald. Immune tolerance to allergens is uh, somehow a recently recognized uh, area that we can understand with our research and research coming from other groups. It shows several steps of action. The first step is allergen tolerance at the level of mast cells and basophils. The second step is generation of T regulatory cells and a general T cell tolerance in the microenvironment which the allergic inflammation takes place also in the blood and lymphatic organs. And the third step is B cell tolerance and regulation of IgE and IgG4 type of antibodies. What models are available to study them in humans? Yeah, in humans we are lucky because we have antigen-specific models which is allergen-specific immunotherapy. So when the patients receive allergen-specific immunotherapy, starting from the beginning of the uh, study, you can follow the patients, their immune system, and uh, look at their blood cells and how these uh, markers are changing. And we are lucky that we have another nice model. These are beekeepers. Beekeepers, professional beekeepers, receive multiple bee stings in their profession, and they tolerate bee stings very nicely. They show a huge tolerance. They don't show any reaction to bee stings, and these are selected non-allergic beekeepers. These two models are very fraught. Another interesting model is cat owners. Cat owners also, who are living with their cat with very close contact, show very nice tolerance to cat allergens. Professor, what are the specific role of T-regulatory cells? Thank you very much, Donald. T-regulatory cells are the specific T-cell uh, subset and uh, they have the capacity to suppress allergic inflammation. They also release um, suppressor cytokines like IL-10 and TGF-beta and they communicate with the B cells to suppress IgE type antibodies. Your group recently published an excellent paper in JCI on human B regulatory cells. Can you tell us about their role in immune tolerance and immunotherapy? Yes, sure. We are very happy to have this paper in JACI. And uh, the B regulatory cells are like uh, T regulatory cells. They also produce uh, IL-10. And uh, th those uh, B regulatory cells are having suppressor capacity like T regulatory cells, but they are much more potent. potent. And they suppress allergen uh, or antigen specific uh, T cell proliferation. And uh, the hypothesis here that the B cell, which is producing uh, anti-inflammatory uh, cytokine like IL-10, when they switch to Ig immunoglobulin producing plasma cells, they should also produce non-inflammatory immunoglobulin isotype, which is IgG4. And then, indeed, we uh, were able to show that the IL-10 producing the regulatory cells switch to IgG4 producing plasma cells and the vision in the immunotherapy studies and the phospholipase AG specific B regulatory cells and also IgG4 producing B cells increase during the course of immunotherapy. Thank you. Chesby, what are the clinical implications of your findings for the practicing allergies? For many years in the beginning, mechanisms of immunotherapy was not known. But knowing mechanisms of a treatment is very, very important. With these mechanisms, what we can do is we can generate biomarkers of immunotherapy to select the patients, to understand the response of the patients, and to follow the patients in the course of immunotherapy to see that uh, which patients are responding at what time 
and what kind of therapies are more efficient for the patients. Well, thank you for joining me today to discuss these very interesting findings, and we look forward to hearing more about your results in the future. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.